Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce. Sarah is setting herself up right now. I just said I'm hitting record. <laughs> Let me get the tea. <laughs> She's like, hold on, I got to reboil it. So this is our <laughs> monthly check-in to see what's going on in this crazy timeline that oh, we yes. ourselves living in. How hectic, beautifully, beautifully chaotic, beautifully chaotic. Um, I know oh, you're getting set up, um, Sarah. I was just saying before we came on screen that you look like the the queen Buddha oh. herself with your hair and your oh. eyes and thank you as do you we have that whole palladian celtic druid ness yeah i was well that's that's the thing too and i know you are specifically very very drawn to the celtic culture and that is so and i think buddhika is really i think i think you know within our truth or world we were talking about this off camera we know there's a lot of infiltration there's a lot of misinformation and a lot of people still want to look at the druids and the celtic people as being like satanic when it was actually the church all along and they weren't god no my deep dive into buddhika really showed me where the the propaganda started between the, the quote-unquote roman empire whatever you want to call it the the controllers um, mm -hmm. to take out these other cultures that were very, very, very special. And a lot of people that's, that's again, the beautiful thing about, you know, the 12 tribes of Israel that we're learning the real 12 tribes of Israel are the galactic ones. And that's within your DNA. And so regardless of what race you are, white, black, Asian, doesn't matter. You have all of these different strands of DNA. Your physical appearance is just more of the dominant DNA. But even if you are black per se, you probably have some Celtic in you as well. Some, some Boudicca, Boudicca <laughs> magic in you as well, you know? And so Native Absolutely. American, you know, it, it's all it's all so really cool and fascinating and that's what we it, that to me is the real cool part of this awakening i'm over the fake intel i'm over like you know the political side of it i'm just kind of over it i'm like i want to know who we really are what's exactly. our real story um you know and what's what's coming out i'm gonna go ahead i got some some new sage this morning um Ooh, nice. I'm, I'm, thank you Go ahead and sage again. We are in a Mercury retrograde right now, you guys. So if there's any technical problems, we'll just blame it on Mercury. Absolutely. And as you do that, I'm going to say a few more prayers silently. Okay. All right. You go ahead and do that. I am going to ask that all of my guides and all of Sarah's guides for our highest good be here in this moment. Any nefarious beings, human or otherwise, that wish to infiltrate this recording and ask that they be escorted off the premises. I do not consent and I revoke permission to use my wounds as an entry point. This is for the highest good of everybody watching right now. That was beautiful. We both have green on. I just realized that Sarah, we both have green on today. We do? I've got a darker green on. Oh, that's neat. And I was told you I was going to wear a different color. And then I was like, no, I'm going to go for this screen. Yeah, I just realized that I've been I've been teaching this morning and you look all pretty. But oh, before oh. we get into the reading, actually, you guys, I do. Sorry, Mercury Retrograde. I do want to remind you guys to make sure that you go over to Sarah's channel, hit the subscribe button, uh, ring the bell, the notification notification bell. And then if you want to go to her website to book a private reading with Sarah, her website is right here. You just click on that link and it will take you right to her private website where you can book a private private reading with Sarah. I've had a private reading done. It's pretty phenomenal. The stuff that comes up in these tea, the tea leaf reading. Um, while she's setting up, I, whoop, I just lost you, Sarah. Oh, I can hear you, but I see the screen is completely frozen. <laughs> that is, a, your end. there's our Mercury, guys. There's our Mercury. There it is. Um, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> well, while she's figuring it out, guys, I'm just going to remind you that with this reading, um, it's it, we're not reading for a specific person. This is a collective reading. No, and so no. um, if take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I am still, I can hear you, but everything is completely frozen on my end interesting i will just i can close i'll close the screen just for a second and then i'll open it up again and see if that will maybe help okay make it work. uh no apparently not do you want to try exiting and coming back in okay i'll do that one second i'll be right back okay Marky, i can't even exit <laughs> are you serious <laughs> I'm tapping my, I'm on my phone as I always am. I've never had, this has never happened. Everyone watching can corroborate that. I am tapping my screen and nothing is happening. I can't even, I'm going to have to take it off my, um, hang on one second. 
Do you know what I, I hope? Okay. I could try to do is I could try to end the meeting and then you can just log back in with the same link. Well, maybe let me just try and see if I can close the app and see if that works. Okay. Um, I don't know if that's going to work or not. Can you still hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, I can't. I, yeah, I can't even. Um, I, Zoom is totally gone. It's not. It's not even working at all on my end. Let me just ask Spirit something quickly. <laughs> A little bit. Oh, hang on. It's opening up again. Oh, hang on. It's it's thinking. Now the black screen. <laughs> Interesting. I hold on one second. I just asked Spirit a question. Oops. Oh, okay. It's asking me to, if I want to close the app. So I'm going to close the app and then I'll log right back in. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Go right Hello. Oh. Two of you are. <laughs> <laughs> We've got two Sarahs in the house now. Once, once, oh. and once. Well, I'll ask you. Oh, there we go. I'll ask you, Sarah. So it's working now. I, how you feel about this? I just asked Spirit. I said, "Are we supposed to do this episode tomorrow?" Meaning Monday. I got the Empress. The Page of Swords, the Temperance, the Tower, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands, which is a yes. How do you yeah. feel? Do totally you fine with me. Okay. I'm, I'm actually going to leave this as our entrance to the video. And then I'll hook it on to what okay. we film tomorrow because this is hysterical. So Totally fine. Because something kept telling me, do it Monday instead. Do it Monday instead. So I don't know. It looks like with the Temperance card, there might be more information. Maybe I mean we're talking about the Celtic stuff and how like how like the Celtic spirituality and how I adore it and the good half of like the positive light side of May first, which is tomorrow when we're recording this, recording this on Sunday, is May first. It's, it's Beltane. It is the welcoming of the light half of the year. It's a fire festival. It brings in the good and the vitality and the love and the positivity and it's like a heralding on all of the good and all of the positive and all of the life force. That's the good part of Beltane. That's what I've always acknowledged. So, so I'm wondering if that has a bit of a connection to, to I that. Would, I what would, do you now, think? I was going to air this on May 1, but I now you're saying that. I think they're waiting for the energies. I know, too. I just found out that there looks like there's about to be a huge Hollywood strike happening tomorrow, too. So it looks like a lot of stuff is happening tomorrow. So okay. should we take that as a sign from Boudicca sure. herself? Okay. And film Sounds this good. tomorrow? All right. Totally cool. fine with me. Same I time. have a story to tell you. I have a story to tell you off air if that's okay. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. But stay on Zoom because tomorrow is going to play right after this. So just keep watching the episode, guys. Yeah. Just hang in <laughs> there. Right. Sounds good. All right, guys, we're back again the next day. As you saw from the little intro, we, we had to stop that recording and come in on May 1. So I had the beautiful Sarah here and her. I told her when she signed on. Girl, you can pull off red. I can <laughs> pull off. <laughs> well, only orange red. We have to be so us Leos have to be very selective of what colors we wear. <laughs> you look gorgeous, my dear. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Well, I always say that. Like, listen, in this war that we're in right now, like our side's way cuter. Have it's you true. I mean, I'm, I'm, tr I'm not trying to be vain or anything, but look at everybody. Look at your friends that are awake, and look at your all the truthers truthers seekers out there like they all look amazing everybody They're beautiful beautiful and young and, and there's a light that shines from their eyes and like you look at people on the other That's side and it's like wah wah but if you're on the other side and you want to join our side the light's available to you too my friends so it's not too late not too, it's never too late you can't kill no. a soul it's never too late no but before we get started guys i just since we had an interruption i thought well this is a good way uh, area to put this in a, a special little word from our sponsor which as always is us see ya 
So do you guys want to, and Sarah's been doing the gel. I think she's about to talk yep. about it herself. Um, so if you guys are from Canada, I've gotten a lot of messages. From <laughs> there might be an, a, an, an easier availability coming to you. Soon. <laughs> Just hold on. We, we, Wait on for ours, it. Wait for it. side of this battle, we want everybody to be healthy. We want everybody to be abundant. There's abundance and health, wealth. That's that's there for everyone, right? That's that's what we want for humanity. We want people to be healthy. We want people to be happy. We want people to be at peace. We want people to feel prosperity in all areas of their life. But ASEA, guys, which again is one of is my sponsor, ASEA, they're an amazing company. It's a redox system, which I was telling Sarah and her mom about this. So basically what redox is, again, redox is your signaling system. So when, when we have a, iPhones, a cell phone, if there is no signal, then the cell phone's not going to work, right? Like it's just not going to work. Um, if there is no cell, no, no matter how fancy that the cell phone is, if there's no signal, it's not going to work. So the redox is your signaling system. So when you were a child, when you were really, really young, you had a bunch of redox. That's why kids recover quickly from accidents, from sicknesses. But as we get older, we start to lose redox. So when you start to do a SIA, what a SIA does is it reactivates that signaling system. And it comes there. The main part of, of a SIA is the, uh, what you drink right? So it's a liquid that you drink, you drink four to eight ounces a day. They come with a little shot glass. And so you swish it around for 30 seconds to 60 sec seconds in your mouth, and then you swallow it. And it gives your body the ability, which is something that Western medicine does not do. But the ASEA gives your body the ability to send the redox to the area of your body that needs it the most, right? So whether that's knee issues, kidney issues, digestion issues, head it, whatever, your body is going to take that intelligence and use it where it needs to there's also the Renew 28, which um, I sent to uh, Sarah and her mom. And I've been using this sucker on my thighs, guys. And so the difference between the gel and the liquid is that <laughs> you get to direct the gel where you want the gel to go. So if you have a bum elbow, if you have a bum shoulder or a bum knee, I was just telling Sarah's mom, if you have like a knee ache or a finger ache or elbow ache, you put it on three times in five minutes, and that should send the redox directly into the fascia. Now, they have new products as well. They have, of course, the uh, skincare system, which I released a video uh, the other day of me unboxing the skincare system. Now, I am heavily shadow banned at the moment, so if you guys could share these videos, Sarah and I would both appreciate it. But the they have a new skincare line, which is a very, it's good for people with sensitive skin. Um, it doesn't, it's not very harsh and obviously uses the redox to go into the, um, you know, kids don't have wrinkles and all that kind of stuff, right? Like it helps your body, your skin, or your, your, your skin is your biggest organ. And so it helps your skin recreate the cells, the signaling system. So the cells within your skin can heal themselves. And so once again, guys, the websites can be a little bit confusing because honestly, this product is growing faster then the people at, at the corporate office are prepared. And so the website, if you're confused by the website, um, please, even if you're not confused by the website, I would highly suggest texting Jay at 321-216-8047. That number is down in the description box below. And Jay can walk you through everything. He's been with the company for a while now. And he can help you figure out what products you, you're going to want, uh, the best value. He can probably help you get uh, wholesale prices for some products. Because the most important thing for us is that you have that help at your fingertips. So... With that being said, guys, once again, if you want to learn more about ASEA, 321-216-8047. And then let's move Yay. on now to Miss Sarah and our Yay. main daily reading. Yay! I'm excited to see what's going to come up for the month of May for everyone watching. Uh, it just seems like I did actually did a my, my most recent bi-weekly daily reading on my channel. It looks like it's going to be a very interesting well, it had headed into this week and heading into next week is how far it went. And it looked like it was going to be quite interesting. So I'm very curious what's going to come up today. Me too, you guys. Um, I will say too, again, we're doing just a general reading. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Mm -hmm. There could be some things that resonate with you and some things that don't. We're just actually, while you're setting that up, Sarah, I'm just going to light my little mm -hmm. sage on. Oh, yes, please. Kick out all those yuckies. Can, yeah, get... Oh, well, that's kind of. <laughs> I so, we were scheduled so, another. <laughs> so I'll tell you. We'll see. Part three. I, I always light a candle to light my sage because it's a bitch to light sage sometimes. 
Um, and oh, it's not easy. I accidentally put the, the candle out with the sage. I got this huge, huge sage wand from my friend Cindy. If you're in the right. Atlanta area, Cindy at Sacred Garden Yoga in Marietta suburbs. She has a ton of fun. She's got so much sage, Palo Alto, Dragon's mm -hmm. Blood, all that kind of stuff at her shala. So you can, if you need something mm -hmm. in a, like ASAP, if you're in the area, you can always go by Cindy's. It's her yoga shala. She calls it her mystery school, which I love saying that I teach at a mystery school. But she Oh, that's so cool. Stuff. Yeah, so I got my new old sage wand yesterday, and I'm going to call in all the beings of our highest good to be in this area and to allow the information to come out that needs to come out for whoever's listening. So, again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. We've got a lot of spirit guides from everybody watching that's, you know, giving information to a lot of people right now. So just take, again, take what resonates for you, leave what doesn't. So be it. Absolutely. And we also ask for cloaks of invisibility, anonymity, and inaudibility. And any yuckies are not allowed here. Gotta go. Got to go. Not Got allowed. To. Okay, I'm just getting the tea leaves ready here. So, and again, in, in entertainment purposes only. So let me just get the leaves ready again. I'm scroll the cup, and this is a general reading for everyone watching for the month of May. Take it up a little bit more water. It looks very strange using Kleenex, but it works. The strain out, it works. I'm a big fan of the Kleenex. I got <laughs> so around here. So. Oh, have to have Kleenex. You know, it's funny because I just I jokingly say to clients, like whenever I used to have like in like face to face readings before everything happened a few years ago, I would always say tools of the trade, pens, paper, and Kleenex. <laughs> Usually, I'm the one who needs the. Kleenex. <laughs> Okay, so I have the cup ready. I flipped it over. I'm going to turn it three or four times, depending whatever I feel guided to. Pretty. I was trying it like above the plate, so I'm not scratching the cup. Okay. It's going to be an interesting meeting. I'm just letting it drip dry right now. I'm just collecting any excess liquid that prevents any liquid pooling at the base and changing images at the base. And again, guys, while she's doing that, I'm going to remind you, I know we said this in the beginning of the video before we got cut off and had to refilm today. Um, yeah, go to Sarah's website if you would like to have a private tea leaf reading. Oh. That is just your your stuff and it's private. I've had a private tea leaf reading with Sarah. It's unbelievable. So um, her, her information will be down in the description box below. So you can check out her website oh. and book an appointment with her. Oh, thank you. If anyone is interested, they can just email me. That's how it is on my website. I don't even use a contact form anymore just to keep it it's one less one less inter like mode of a mode of like interference along the way so just if you anyone wants to email me that would be lovely okay this is just about ready there's a lot of like liquid coming out so this is taking a bit longer i think than normal i wonder what that means spirit <laughs> well all i can say is liquid like water that's emotions that's intuition that's healing likely going to need to dab this again in the base in a few minutes anyway so let's just leave it for there oh hang on a bit, bit more is coming out Ooh. when when uh when this uh world war three is finished and done with i'm gonna i'm gonna have to like find my grandmother's recipe from south georgia of sweet tea and make oh, it for your mom she put pineapple juice because you know in the south we don't drink hot tea we drink cold tea it's sweet tea <gasps> grandma i don't even drink hot tea <laughs> don't like it if you ask a southerner about tea though they think of a big old glass with ice and like mm. sweet tea yeah sounds delicious i've never had sweet tea oh really we grow mm -mm. up it's, it's too hot down here it's too damn hot to drink hot tea like and my grandmother from south oh, georgia right. she would put yeah. pineapple juice in it she had her own little spell Every, everybody's grandmama has their own sweet tea recipe down here in the south and oh. she would I gotta find that recipe though. See if one of my aunts has it. She put pineapple juice in it. That was her oh, tea. That so. sounds amazing. Very. Also, I love. I love pineapple juice. Any, anything in pineapple? Mm, so good. Well, I, I had. Dirty. Sorry, go ahead. I was about to say something dirty. Apparently, if you eat pineapple, it makes you taste better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> not not in like the cannibalistic way, but like in the <laughs> no. <laughs> so we don't do yucky things like that. Oh. I mean, no. in a good kind of 
I don't think so take twists and turns very quickly. <laughs> Sorry. That's just what I've heard, though. I don't know. That's what I've heard. We don't know. We don't know. That's what we think. Okay, this is going to be an interesting month, I think, for anyone who's watching. Okay, let me just very delicately dab a little bit more liquid. I knew it was going to pull in the base. There was so much coming out. One second. Ah, all right. So did you want to aim for like another half an hour like last time? Yeah, let's do half an hour. I'm looking. I'm going to put it on the, on the screen because there's no need to see me right now. So I'm going to put Sarah Aww. on the screen to do a reading. And yeah, I'll, I'll count you down, girl. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm ready. Everyone ready? Here are the tea leaves for May. And I haven't looked too closely, but it looks like it's going to be quite busy. And the base is very intriguing, too. I was about so, to say, there's a lot down there. There's a lot. Um, and, like, if anyone's watched these kinds of videos before and how everyone reads differently in tea leaf reading, I just do it chronologically. That's how I've always done it. So it's now on the way and later. The rim is the present situation. Sides are on the way. The base is more of the distant future. So in this case, start of May during May, end of May, heading into June, which is crazy. We're even talking about June already. Like how fast is this here going? It's insane. Okay. This is definitely going to be a very busy month. All right. So let's start at the beginning. Let's begin at the beginning. It's, okay. This is basically a, uh, overall a very busy start to the month. I would say that there's one there's I'm just gonna turn up my lighting here. Sorry. I have my ring light and I always keep it down because my eyes are sensitive to light sometimes. Okay, that's better. There's one main event or situation taking place this month. At the start of the month. It's actually interesting because at first I thought, oh, there's one huge one, and then as I look closer, there's actually it's actually in two to three different parts. So I would say that there's likely one, two. There's one situation that may look like there's even like like it's one scenario, but really it's in three different sections. But of those three, there's actually one in particular that is more significant than the others. And again, in those scenarios, it may feel like it, you're like things are calm and clear and quiet, and we're happy with that, and or we want things to get moving a bit more. Aside from that, and those are quite significant. Aside from that, there's just a lot of business, a lot of different things taking place all at once it's just an incredibly incredibly busy time and if you look i'm teaching a little bit here but if you look at the rim you can see how can you see how much there is on the rim right there and right at the top or right on the rim itself that's what i'm referring to there's just a lot of different things had taking place like today like at the start of this month a lot of different scenarios okay let's go a little bit deeper now I'll quickly look at those. One of those situations involve house and or home, thinking of moving. This may even have a farming connection, like a farmhouse potentially of some kind. And there's messages, news, and or information that's involved with that specifically. Another scenario does involve, <clears throat> excuse me, reassurance regarding, I would say, paperwork or education of some kind. There's no open book, so I just say education to cover all the bases. There's like seven different meanings books to me have. Education, wisdom, knowledge, reading a book, writing a book, taking a course, teaching a course, any of the above, I would say. There are also, hmm, okay. yeah. there's, there's, a, there's a document, a connection with a document of some kind that is related to a scenario where, again, there's reassurance and also an Aries and or Taurus connection taking place like the beginning of this month. There's also this feeling of blossoming, which is, I think, actually what I saw in the most recent TV reading I did, too. Um, it, and I say that because there's a beautiful, like, there's a tiny flower that's beginning to bloom. So for me, flowers just represent how far along the situations are. So there's a scenario that looks like it's just about ready to reach fruition. So that's really good to see that things are beginning to like, take place. Okay. Now let's look in the, in the cup itself. Because those some of those scenarios lead into events and situations which are being shown. It does appear to me that, wow, yeah, okay. Okay. So, as always, we do, as often, there is one main event or scenario, which is being shown by this, like, cascading waterfall right here. That's what I usually call main event or situation. That's the main focus, the main message, the main, the main event or scenario taking place throughout this month. It does begin 
very soon. Some of it is actually taking place like right now, today, and it will, will be leading, I would say, until the end of the month. It does conclude, generally speaking, generally speaking, it does conclude by the end, by the end of the month. However, two, two, two parts, two parts of it, I know that may sound vague, um, two parts of it essentially lead into the base, which is the end of the month heading into June. Around the sides of the cup, we do have one, two, depending on you count it, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, potential, uh, approximately eight different scenarios taking place during the month as the month progresses. They're in, in, individual in and of themselves. However, they sort of all accumulate or culminate, I guess, into, they all sort of like result or lead into one scenario that may involve travel of some kind. There's like the actually two parts to it. So one, two, three, four of those sections Four of those individual events or scenarios do lead into one section, one event, and then the other two lead into another two. I know that may sound sort of like vague, but hopefully that makes sense to people. And the four scenarios actually involve something to do with inheritance, a legacy, home and or family, generational significance, something along those lines. It's all positive. Around the top of the cup, around just below the rim, we do have multiple, I won't go into a huge amount of detail because there's just so much here, but essentially what I'm seeing is that throughout the beginning of the month, I would say if I had to place a, an estimate of time within the first week, soundly within the first week, there's just a lot of things happening ev everywhere all at once. Some quiet times, but essentially there's just like rapid fire. Things are taking place really quickly action movement momentum, momentum around the whole cup around the whole beginning of the month so it's like okay super super busy calm and quiet overall okay but there is reassurance that is being indicated at least in one of the scenarios and it does actually result in really like it's indicating that it's a very good scenario there's a lot of like really good things taking place at that time like it's really like we're receiving really good things. Again, some of us may be thinking of moving and there's messages, news and or information coming about that. If so, that's great. It just may not be like you're may some people may be seriously considering moving. That's what that's referring to. A lot of news, information, documents, reassurance, spiritual, esoteric, sacred knowledge. There's, there's a number seven there. That's also involving a document again of some kind and a helpful individual like me with hmm, this may sound very random a uh, prominent hairstyle i don't know how else to describe it a prominent hairstyle but that, uh, that that results specifically in receiving very good things again something to do with the house at home a conclusion this is all i'm just looking at the top here a conclusion of some kind that involves documents action speed momentum that specifically regards unconditional love support loyalty and commitment and it's a very good scenario Something about the house and her home. Property, thinking of moving, renting, renovating, some connection with property. Yeah, creativity, creative projects, creating something new, new beginnings, creating something new, nurturing, self-care. There's someone who's holding a baby. So There's a small conclusion regarding all of that, but it's a very good conclusion, and there's a happy face there. And there's positive messages, news, and or information coming about that. And again, there's a beautiful flower that's just that's in a bud. It's just ready to start blooming. So it looks like a very good scenario. And that also involves getting things organized and tidied up, whether that is figurative or literal. Okay. <laughs> small reminder for perception, glass half full versus glass half empty, reassurance. Reassurance again. A lot of action and momentum. Yeah. So there may be one of the scenarios that I mentioned where there may be a little bit of a quiet time and a bit of a lull at the beginning of the month and you're like, which things have speed, speed up specifically. Yes. <laughs> and that one, there's one area where it's going to be very, things happening very quickly regarding one individual. And then it just gets resolved and gets nice and quiet after that. Reassurance again. Just getting things tidied up and organized. Messages, messages, news, and or information involved. Yes, again, I keep seeing houses. So there's some connection with houses, property, location, rent. There's a connection with houses that I keep seeing repeatedly at the beginning of the month overall. Like, keep seeing houses. Forward movement, yes. Regarding that individual scenario, yes. With messages, news, and or, and or information on the way. And it's happy. It's a good scenario. 
small reminder for perception, for awareness and house as well. But there is also reassurance regarding that too. And there, that is specifically regarding a document of some kind. But a lot of messages, news and or information, I keep seeing that. Okay. Conclusions as well. Another conclusion, so small conclusions. That one specifically is, is in regards to documents of some kind, paperwork, writing, Oops, writing, writing things down. Okay. Now we're in the main event. Now circle the cup and now we're in the main event. Yes, definitely action, speed, momentum, things taking place quickly. Life force, vitality, going for whatever it is that you want to have. Anything is organized. I keep seeing, um, second time I've seen a number seven and up near in the same vicinity up in chronologically. So there's some kind of spiritual, sacred, esoteric knowledge, wisdom that is present. And that specifically is, is re re referencing something to do with, in this scenario, getting things organized and also reassurance regarding that. And that's in relation to two different scenarios, but also it's connected to a completion of some kind. An abundance that is beginning to take form beautifully. Okay, now we're at the main event. Okay. I will take a breath and actually breathe for the first time. <laughs> okay, so definitely happiness. There's a big happy face here. Again, action, speed, momentum. There's a horse's bit. Action, speed, momentum. Things happening quickly. Life force, vitality. But also a beautiful sense of partnership. A partnership that's beginning to take place. This is open communication between two people and something to do with a house and your property. A lot of helpful people who are involved, I would say, and specifically one of them is a man and the two people communicating, one of them is a girl. Can't say about the other one, but open, open communication. I keep seeing houses. Again, it's just all of this blossoming, new beginnings, things taking form, a completion. There's a lot of conclusions taking place. There's small conclusions that I keep seeing. It doesn't mean anything bad. It just means that things are wrapping up. Things are being concluded so we can move on to the next. That's all. That conclusion specifically involves the letter S. Helpful people. Many helpful people are, are involved. Yeah, the little puppy. Unconditional love, support, loyalty, and commitment. As well as independent thought that's connected to, to the letter L. And partnerships beginning to form happiness okay keep seeing happy faces i probably won't repeat that for the sake of sounding repetitive but i keep seeing happy faces repeatedly everywhere i'm looking it's good it's good taking some time out for your own self-care meditation yoga whatever that is going within a fire a woman who is a fire sign a lot of communication regarding that individual i won't say it again for the sake of being repetitive, many helpful people. A reminder that the angels are around us. You can ask them for help whenever you want to. And that they are involved in a scenario specifically that involves a partnership, a new idea. Something about the number one. The number one. Significance around that in some way. It's a loving scenario, though. It may actually involve America in some way. I'm just generally speaking, like if someone has a connection with that specifically in that scenario, like specific to them, there may be an American connection. If anything, I had to, I would hazard to say like middle America, central to east, but an American connection. Letter E involved with that as well. Generally speaking, overall, we're going to know where we stand with things, but there's also going to be a lot of um, thoughts, ideas, conversations, discussions, as well as knowing where, knowing where we stand. And I know this may sound contradictory, but knowing where we stand, yes. And also at the same time, there's a lot of surprises that are part of that too. Okay, so going down further. So I would say now we're at about the week, first week-ish. Working with many different people. House connection again. Letter W. Oh, let's see this one, one more time. Many surprises throughout this entire scenario. Happiness. Angelica can help again. They're around us. Letter E. 
maybe letter F, but definitely person, place, or thing with the letter E that's involved. That involves some kind of creativity, yes, but new beginnings, new creative messages, news and or information, reassurance, but it's a new beginning of some kind. It's a very good scenario, though, too. A lot of, uncond a lot of unconditional love. Open communication in that scenario, specifically regarding three different people, actually four people. And Sarah, you're now at 15 minutes. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'm excited for this month. It looks like it's going to be very intriguing. Um, I just keep seeing a lot of dogs, a lot of puppies as well. Unconditional love, support, loyalty, and commitment, protection, guardianship. A new idea that's being contemplated that's just about ready to be presented, and that involves a small abundance and prosperity of some kind, that is regarding a woman. Yeah. And freedom of movement with that. Two new opportunities that are associated with that specifically and some kind of M, letter M, like Magdalene, connection. Someone with, again, the letter M, stability. Possibly the, the letter J that's involved. Person, place, or thing. Helpful people. Reassurance. Reassurance, yes, but also potentially a Scorpio connection. And thinking of moving. Okay, going down a bit further. Reassurance, protection, unconditional love, support, loyalty, commitment, guardianship, protection. Nothing gets past a dragon. <laughs> Nothing gets past good dragons. There's a dragon now. Like a knight in shining armor time is like a 10 or, or 100 or 1,000. Definitely protection associated. Doesn't mean that we're in danger, just means that there's protection involved. A lot of love. A new idea, a new uh, concept, a new opportunity that's being presented. It's a surprise. Letter, sorry, number three. Angelic help associated with that. Yeah. So if people are thinking of moving near the beginning of the month, what I'm seeing is the house becoming more, more apparent and more clear as, as the month progresses. So that makes sense to me so if someone is con contemplating moving or having some connection with property as the month progresses by the middle of the month thereabouts it may become more obvious or more, more apparent or more clear more settled but still a lot of unknowns <laughs> still a surprise with that letter w associated with that too partnerships okay going down a bit further uh, yeah abundance and prosperity jumping for joy dancing with joy new beginning happiness Having fun, playfulness. New beginnings, transformation. There's a phoenix, version of a phoenix. So completely transformation, new beginnings. Letter L, associated with an individual likely. And some kind of education, knowledge, learning, connection. Taurus and or Aries connection. Helpful people. Abundance and prosperity. Working with people. Partnerships. No smooching yet, but I'm looking for it. Happiness, new Red ideas. I was like, where, when do we get the good <laughs> stuff? Where's the good I'm stuff? I'm looking. I'm not even seeing anything. I'm just seeing like a lot of like people talking. I'm, we love a good people. smooch. Haven't seen it yet. I'm working on it. <laughs> There's still like half a cup to look through. Okay, let me, let me see if I can find some smooching. God, we want smooching. Show it to us. Okay, let's see. Going down further. But there is one section overall of this whole scenario that does involve a lot of talking. It's one section that's sort of like up in the air a little bit, a lot of conversations, generally speaking. But there's a lot of like going for what you want to have. There's a lot of action, speed, momentum. Using your using analytical skills, critical thinking skills, logic, intellect, reassurance. Not quite the number four. Conclusion. Connection with the house under home, family, moving, and letter E. That's later on in the month. Independent thought. Letter E again. A lot of E's and C's. W. W that's involved in a happy scenario that involves a new beginning, a new opportunity. It's being shown. Quick, Quickness. Swiftness of movement. Things going quickly. Someone who is like a woman specifically who is having like 
three different thoughts, three different guidance at the same time. It may also be a woman who is has two departed loved ones who is is, is helping with them. I think our departed, our departed loved ones, in my opinion, help us all the time anyway. I'm just saying that that is that that's what I'm seeing in this one scenario. And there's also a Leo connection. I would say that's included included or associated with that as well. Just a lot of abundance, repeated scenarios of abundance. Repeatedly, especially when you get to like the last, like the latter half of the month, like mid month and onwards. I just keep seeing like repeated, like abundance, abundance, individual scenarios uh, that involve that. And also, again, a reminder that the angels are around us. So I would say that, yes, when I say, when I see angels in TV feeding, I say that, yes. They're around us, ask for them to help you should you wish to, but also that they're associated with or helping with that scenario specifically as well. And I keep seeing that. Like what, three times now I've said that? Seen that? House and property. Becoming more apparent, looking good. Letter C that's involved with that, PC. The letters P and or C, PC. Conclusion that involves people talking, communication. Bit of a party, having fun with the open house. Okay, now we are just about heading into the base. partnerships that involve some kind of transformation, creating something new, forging something, creating something new. Also involving abundance and prosperity and possibly a new partnership too, possibly. And like a partnership could be anything from a new friend to a, whatever the case is, a new association, a new, a new partnership of some kind. Okay, now we're heading into the base. Okay. One of the sections near the beginning of the month, end of the month rather, that involves a lot of communication, thinking, and talking. That scenario specifically leads into the base. Now the base, oh, that's really interesting. Oh, okay. Whatever is taking place at the end of the month heading into June, it's forming a half of a tree. If you look in the base, you can see the, the clump cluster. See how it's like a, the trunk, tree trunk is very tiny at the bottom, and then there's the tree top is the main section. You sort of see that? whatever this is referring to there's some kind of a major significant but very significant abundant abundance and prosperity that is taking place near the end of this month heading into june it's just that it's not fully formed yet which makes sense because it hasn't happened yet um but it does look very promising and whatever the scenario is it's very 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 positive there is an independent thought that's associated with that as well as partnerships um e Oh, sorry, number three is involved with that as well. I can't see a lot of what is taking place within it because it is so tightly grouped. It is supposed to be a surprise. Um, but I can say that there's a lot of partnerships that are involved in that as well as a woman specifically. Something to do with possible additions to the family and or money involved, I would say, if anything. Uh, someone may be experiencing a new addition to the family, like in terms of a child coming in. End of month heading into June. Oh, that starts with smooches. It starts with maybe that was the last. That's a quick turnaround, though. But yes, we had smooches last time. Maybe that open communication I mean, is a little bit more than open communication. Have a baby come in. There's got to be some smooches. So to start that process, so retroactive smooches <laughs> <laughs> has to happen somewhere. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's looking, looks positive, whatever this scenario is, this, this goodness, this surprise, I mean, it's taking up almost half of the base. So again, whatever this is referring to, it is a highly significant, really good situation, essentially. I don't know what else I can say regarding that other than it's highly positive. There's going to be likely some money and or conversations involved right before it takes place, messages, news, and or information that's happening quickly. Someone also who's like the an air sign that's involved in that in some way, shape, or form, like the woman, a lot of women in this, one, in this one, as well as reassurance regarding that specifically. Small reminder for perception or perspective. Open, communi open communication. This may sound very random. I'm actually seeing like a purse or a shopping bag. <laughs> Maybe some shopping that's involved in this whole scenario. 
Number three, he'll send her home. And some kind of, again, some kind of new beginning, a creative project, creativity, whether this is physical children and or creativity, creating something new. But that one also involves a conclusion and or a C and or G and or a new beginning of some kind. This tea leaf reading is such an and or. There's a lot of different, um, there's an opportunity that potentially that involves all of what I just said, C, G, and multiple opportunities. So for example, um, if someone gets a promotion as part of a promotion, they get a job, they get a raise, they get a company car, they get a credit. There's multiple things that come with that one opportunity. Okay. Aside from that, there's just a lot of thinking and talking, but also a much of more of a quiet time at the end of the month heading into June. So I think generally overall, we're, we are going to be able to pace ourselves. We're not really going to be, we're going to be able to focus on what we need to focus on, but not be completely stressed out. And we are again, going to again, pace ourselves and have some quiet time too. But there's a lot of conversations. There's a lot of helpful people, a lot of people open, openly communicating and forming a partnership that involves the letter M and E. It's some kind of reassurance, reassurance, but also messages, news, and or information that's something that is coming to like that people, someone is receiving, receiving good news. But there's, there's a letter M definitely involved in that M and E abundance and prosperity. So even though there's a one main abundance and prosperity, Aside from that, in more of the time where there's a lot of communication, there's also small, again, like what I like what's in this entire side here, um, smaller individual events that are abundant and prosperous as well. Action, speed, momentum, happiness. A new beginning of some kind. Okay, now we have two people closely dancing. All right, there, there, there's your smooch. Found it. Found it. This is the base. <laughs> right at the bottom there, we've got the smoochers closely dancing, the, the front hog, right? Dancing. Is that what you call it in the tea leaf reading? <laughs> it's not quite X as I've seen more X rated than that, but yes. We're, yeah, we're in that territory. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Take it. We'll take it. Yep. Well, yeah. And there's abundance and prosperity regarding that. And it's something to do with a new partnership. And there's a conclusion and a, be and, a, and a new opportunity. And it's related to a letter W and a heart. So yes, I think that does look like a very good scenario. Joyousness. Yeah, that actually may result potentially in a child, which would make sense. There's a, there's a lot of happiness regarding that whole scenario. Specifically the smooching? Yeah. Well, I'm very happy. Um, that's about that's at the 15 minute mark, girl. That's I mean the 30 minute oh, mark. So perfect. That uh, that we love we love a good romance. We love a good abundant smooching yeah. and uh, you know, <laughs> that is awesome. That yeah. sounds like a, it's an exciting month. We've got a lot. It does. There's it's a lot happening. I mean, down like generally speaking, we are going to have enough time to pace ourselves as the month progresses. It's just that we're going to be busy especially like i would say during the middle of the month onwards for about a week or so but it's going to be busy but we're not going to be like we're going to be able to pace ourselves and not be completely stressed out focus on what we need to focus on but not be pulled in many directions for very long so it's almost like a bit of a reprieve kind of in a way yeah yeah and that's, that's interesting nice. like the project coming into june too it's very very fascinating you know, okay, I, I, and I will say right now, guys, we're in Mercury retrograde. And so we always yes. think about the bad things with retrograde, like computer equipment, messing up cell phones, messing up miscommunication, that kind of thing. But also with Mercury retrograde, it's also a really good time for projects to be finalized and something you've been yes. needing to do. And it's so funny because I'm actually in the process of moving but I don't know where I'm moving yet. And I was just okay. saying to someone, I was like, I don't know, it's Mercury retrograde. Should I wait? And that person was like, no, actually right now is a really good time to finish it up because you've been talking about this for a while. So that's what I'm saying, guys. So you, you 
you know, be careful signing new contracts. But if this is something that's been in the mm -hmm. works for a while, Merc Mercury retrograde is a really good time to like. Absolutely. You know, and it's, a, it's, it's, it's like what they say. It starts with an RE. So it's like redo, revision, renovate, rethink, relocate, re whatever the case is. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm kind of in the process of that in a very small way myself. So it, it, it's a good time to do those things using the energy for good and not being scared of retrograde, Mercury retrograde. Oh. Yeah, never things can. happen. Yeah, clearly things, things happen. And if you if you can take Mercury retrograde with for what it is, and your circle of friends know, like miscommunication mm -hmm. could happen. Like if someone doesn't email you back right away, I feel like sometimes in retro Mer Mercury retrograde, I'm walking through like quicksand. Like yeah. I, it, everything just slows down for me, and, and so you take it. Yeah. And, okay, well maybe I need to slow down during this time. Maybe I need to like not put as many videos out during this time. Maybe they're the, exactly. the the universe is always working in your favor. Believe it or Absolutely. not. Absolutely. So, absolutely you know yeah no question so i know sarah i'm actually going to pull your your channel up again hold on for one uh -huh. second because you said that you you are releasing you had you said you had a uh what well, you're doing bi-weekly right i do bi-weekly tv readings and i finally got them talking about mercury retrograde yes i got them all uploaded got three of them uploaded i think it was last week so I finally got them. I just had delay after delay after delay for about a month, most of March, so or April rather, so I'll be able to get them up. And it's kind of nice. I know this especially because I'm a big fan of the I Ching as well. Mm. Um, and Sarah, off camera, if you ever want an I Ching reading, let me know. Um, oh, thank you. Absolutely. Interesting, because the I Ching works a little differently. It, actually, tea leaf reading kind of reminds me more like the I Ching. Because the I Ching mm, is like a hexagram which leads to like a scenario like this could happen and here are the changing line so if you do oh, okay this could happen but if you do this this could happen that and sounds so, just like really fitting yeah yeah it's interesting with these readings to go back and look back mm -hmm. see like what what was actually being told to you when you actually have all the information in your current your current existence you know absolutely i mean i did actually think about one of the tv fittings i posted retroactively I think this, this past weekend I went, oh yeah, that actually makes complete sense. But it's looking back at it. And one of my friends actually was looking at my reading, meeting with the, the videos there the other day. And she said, yep, makes sense. Yeah. And I don't know if you saw last month, all the people that chimed in in the comment section to say, oh my God. So I'm going to yeah. ask you, like, if you want to share, like you don't obviously you don't have to share if you don't want to, but let us know like what in the reading, like really caught your attention i noticed that there was a lot of w's being said and my last name is watson oh that's right that's right yes so let us know guys like what what was what were you what were you catching catching in this because just because we often think of like our first name the letter being shown but sometimes it will be like your last name right you know or something so you know yeah. so so or one or, or one letter within the name. Because sometimes people will think, like I know in TV things, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes some, some people will say, oh, it's the first person, the first letter of the person's first name. To me, I just learned very early on. It's somewhere in the name. That's yes, just how somewhere. I do it. Yeah. So, I mean, you said E a few times. My middle name is Elizabeth. And I, I always like in, E at the end of Bryce. And I, I, I have that in my private life. I have, and I think I have it on my social media too. I always put my full name because when I was a kid, now, when I was really little, like going, being put into the boys cabinet camp was horrifying as a teenager. I would have loved it. But, you know, just so people know I'm a female, I always put my middle name there so they know right. that I am a female. You know, I'm right. not a male. I'm a female. Bryce is my, actually, I was supposed to be Elizabeth Bryce Watson. But when my mother was pregnant with me, all of her girlfriends who were also pregnant were going to be naming their daughters Elizabeth. So she flipped them. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's cute. If well, I'm real honest, though, my mama really wanted to name me Laura from a character from Dr. Zhivago, which was like her favorite story. But my grandmama came in and said, absolutely not. No, so. no, Laura. <laughs> she That's said, cute. After my, my middle name is Jane. So J-A-N-E. So there's J, there's J, there's an E. There, yeah. Because J came up as well. And I know M mm -hmm. comes out a lot. If you said Magdalene, and people in the comment section have been mentioning that. Like, it's like the Magdalene yeah. like, behind. But it could also Absolutely. be narrative. It could all, you know, depends on your situation and what 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 is um what is really uh, igniting you. 
Exactly. Like someone may be working with a realtor whose name is May or someone yeah. ha- or the, 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 or the realtor has the, the letter M in there somewhere. So that's for me, I'm niece. just like, keep it. My niece, sorry. My niece, her name is May. Oh, that's me. Oh, she's so two. Cool. She's two. Oh, she will oh, be too soon. Little. So she's not, I don't think she's the helping hand coming along at this point. Girl can't Probably. even go to the bathroom by herself at this point, but her name is oh, her. Her name is May. Me. Yeah. That's you. yeah you never know so just i just keep up keep up in mind and just see what happens, what happens? And yeah, yeah. It's exciting though and i'm excited to see that tree though because that's very intriguing for me yeah let's hold on to that let's remember that so when we do for june at the yeah. end of may let's do for june and see what see what excuse me see what transpires with that tree because i could act, usually when you show that picture when you show us the tea leaves i'm like oh i'll just see some tea leaves but when you explain the tree i actually could see the tree so you can see yeah. it. the trunk is very small but like to me the trunk to me this, this tree is for example is pretty much half formed in my inter- from how i see it so when i see a half formed tree it just means that whatever that this abundance and prosperity is it's just still it's still forming that's but exciting it's, Excite! It's exciting. Like I'm always happy when I see trees at the base because it means like, oh, but it's raspberry is on the way. Whatever it is, it's highly significant, and it, it's huge. So when it does like fully form, fully formed, it would take up about three quarters of the base, I would say. So it is going to be as of right now, this moment in time, it's showing that this is going to be quite an quite a quite an eventful and happy and good end of May and heading into June. You know what so. I was thinking as you were saying that I might ti- I might title the video this one of my favorite quotes. In the end, it's all okay. If it's not, mm. okay, it's not the end. Oh, I love that. I love that. Yeah. So if it's, that not, is okay, really good. it's not the end. I love it. I love it. It's so true though. We make things, I think some, I've said this before to other clients, but sometimes I think we just make things so complicated sometimes when really it's so simple. The simple is sometimes the best way. It is. I love that. I think that's such a beautiful quote. It's so powerful. In the end, it's all okay. If it's not yeah. okay, it's not the end. It's not the end. Keep going. Don't you stop. You know, with what's what's it Winston Churchill said, when you're going through hell, keep going. Keep, Just going. keep going. Put one foot in front of the other. Another one of my favorite quotes I said this morning on Aquarius Rising Africa, doesn't matter how fast you're going when you're going in the wrong direction. Likewise, mm-hmm. doesn't matter how slow you're going when you're going in the right direction. Just keep going. Not okay. It's all, yeah, it's true. It's not all, it's all relative. It's just keep doing what you need to do for yourself. I think I've said that to many clients too. Like, I think one thing that, that, I, that I need to most say in my, in my life <laughs> so far when waiting for clients is just do what you feel is right. Yeah. Again, we, I think we would just overcomplicate things so easily. I know, I know I do get in my head I'm like, oh, Sarah, just, just calm down. You're totally fine. It's, it's okay. It's all right. Okay. It's all just happening. Don't, don't stop. Just big breaths. Calm down. You're fine. Keep going. Everything's gonna be okay. You're here. You're alive. You can. It's not the world is not over yet. You can. You can still keep going. Just don't stop. And don't I'll tell up. you guys. I wasn't don't gonna say up. anything publicly, but I'm just kind of feeling inclined to say this um, because sometimes I think when you're in the thick of something, you have a hard time seeing the light at the end of the at the end of the tunnel. Hundred so percent. Last night, I we got notified. Um, when lockdown first happened, I received a lot of people that I work with in Atlanta received some abuse from I'm trying to be careful how I say this on YouTube from the other side because we refused to play along. And we right. had our stance that no, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep this is ridiculous. Like part of yoga is seeing is learning to see the truth through the illusion. If you can't see the truth through this illusion, I don't know what you've been doing on your yoga mat all these years you know um you know you have people like kino mcgregor who is a very famous ashtanga teacher and i really like kino i've met kino quite a few times i think she's a great person however when all this happened she was really promoting the opposite Mm. of what we were promoting she wanted people to get this checking the um temperatures at the you know paperwork all that i'm trying to be careful what i say guys Mm -hmm. and you know, and she's a certified, I'm authorized. She's one of like the hot top dog teachers okay. and she's made it really far in the asana practice. And when that happened, I don't want to say I lost respect for her. Like I still respect her as a human, but there's nothing I can learn from her 
because I realized yeah. in that moment that what have you been doing all the you can learn all these yoga poses you can learn all the Sanskrit you can write these she's written m multiple books but obviously this stuff hasn't like integrated into you because you can't see the damn truth mm -hmm. of the illusion so basically all you've been doing on your mat for 20 years in my opinion is gymnastics and so yeah. but when we stood our ground and said no this isn't right we got a lot of pushback well, I'm sure message last night from other higher up teachers that really made a huge difference for us because oh. they were saying that they noticed we became way showers that mm, a lot of people in our community so saw us standing up for the truth and decided to stand up for the truth as well and it was because of what we had done in atlanta and we didn't know That's that amazing. at the time we were just so focused on the abuse that we didn't realize there were all these other people that were watching us take mm. the abuse and continue to move forward, continue to stand up for what was right. And it inspired them to do it too. Mm. And so I'm just saying that because okay. even in your darkest of times, guys, mm -hmm. there's always light. And even though it's so easy, I mean, I had people texting me, harassing me from the Ashangan community, wanting to have my authorization revoked. That's awful. Just because of, of standing up, you know, it was a horrible, it never happened, but it was horrible. Yeah. And so my mess in that saying that, like I, you know, with Keno McGregor, like I think you're a great person, but in my opinion, you're not a yoga teacher. You showed mm -hmm. your true colors. You haven't been doing yoga. And so I'm going to say that with confidence. I, there's nothing, I will not buy any more of your books. There's nothing I can learn from you. Because all you've been doing is gymnastics. You, you, yeah, great. You can stand up with your leg behind your head. So can I. What does it matter if you haven't been actually doing the practice? And so I want to tell people using that as an example, just keep going, stand up for what is right. Yeah. Stand up for what is right. Even, you know, that's, that's being brave too. Like nothing is, is, mm -hmm. is, is to me, one of the least attractive qualities of people is being a coward. Yeah. Like, like, cowardness is something that I find so unattractive. When somebody's brave, even when they're shaking, and they're wobbling and standing up for the truth. That is so sexy. And that is so appealing. And so key. Mm -hmm. And I know, guys, listen, I listen, Sarah and I know most people know, like, it's hard. It's hard to be that opposite. Oh. Especially when you're really not trying to bother anybody. You're just standing up for the truth and keeping your business open. Mm -hmm. It's hard. And I will say, and I, so if we have anybody watching from Toronto right now. Now, I know multiple te teachers and Ashtanga teachers in Toronto. But the okay. teachers I know in Toronto are pretty cowardly. <laughs> when this uh when this lockdown happened but apparently there's one ashtanga teacher and i don't know who it is i would love to know who it is because i would love mm -hmm. to bring you on the show i would love to talk to you there's an ashtanga okay. teacher in in toronto that during the 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 real intense moments of 2020 mm -hmm. we'll say was getting up every morning opening his shala and then he was getting arrested for it and they would release him and mm -hmm. guess what he'd get up and do it again wow every morning and you, That's sir, bravery. ma'am, I think it's a man. I think it was a male teacher. You, sir, to me, you're a badass. And I applaud you because you are far braver than we were down here in Atlanta. Because we never wow. had the threat of an arrest in Georgia. So the fact that you got up every single morning knowing you were going to get arrested and you did it anyway because you could see the truth, my hat's off to you. Contact me. Because Absolutely. I would love, as, as a colleague of yours in the Ashtanga world, I would love to support your shala, advertise you, do whatever I can do with my platform to help you out because that is bravery for that man to do that. I think it was a man. I'm, I might, if, I'm, if I'm mistaken, it was a female. Um, but there's, there's multiple authorized Ashtanga teachers in Toronto. Cities usually have quite a few. The ones mm -hmm. I know, that wasn't them. So, yeah. So, but keep going. I'm not remembering. No, I don't remember. If I heard of it, I don't remember. It's probably, yeah, it'd probably be a very obscure group because most people do fake yoga anyway. Like a very small percentage of people in the world actually do real yoga. This would be somebody that's opening up their shalas at like the crack of dawn because that's when we practice as Brahma Morta. So, okay. um, so yeah, let me know if you guys know who that is or if that person's yeah. watching right now, mm -hmm. like contact me. Um, and I would love to support mm -hmm. you because that's brave. And, that, and, that, and that's yeah. what I'm saying, guys. Like even when you're doing hard things and you're standing up for the truth and you feel like it's a losing battle, just keep going. Cause you don't mm -hmm. know where you don't know when you're going to get that text that says, just so you know, you're kind of a hero for a lot of people. Absolutely. In whatever scenario that is, 
even exactly. if, it's, if it's like even even if it's like you doing like your own personal inner shadow work and you're doing something that you know you need to do for yourself but you're shaking like i went through that before and like, i'm literally sitting there shaking but i'm like is there just calm down like you're learning from this just you're fine you're okay don't stop you have to go through this you have to go through this experience just to help heal yourself yeah. and i was in no danger at all i was just going through I'm like it was something that i had to go through but it helps to heal so when you get through there and you get past that point and you're like i can do this doing something that you don't think that you can do because you think that you're afraid or you've been traumatized whatever the case is just having that courage that bravery and saying just one step at a time and being gentle with yourself and upbraiding yourself that's something that, that i am totally do and i'm always working myself to not beat myself up but that's something that i do so i'm like okay just just calm down you're fine just all is well one step at a time oh you're there good. was so many times when when we were i was first getting time. threatened with the with the yoga stuff right when i first put myself on youtube and i was getting that behind the scenes i would spend my days like shaking because I, I, it felt like awesome. a bullying, it felt like abuse, it felt like yep. I was going to get punished for not going with the, the narrative, which literally yoga people, the ancient yogis were the original conspiracy theorists. Mm. They were like, something's not right here, guys. And so they started studying the human mind and came up with the idea that our whole world's an illusion, you know, so that literally, like, that's why the whole point of a spiritual practice is to see the truth through the illusion. The first truth you see is your own yeah. truth through your own illusion. Yeah. And it helps you see the truth in general. So if you're a yoga person and you fell for the bullshit of 2020, you need to reevaluate your practice because something's not connecting. Some wires are not connecting, right? And and yoga people have, and that's, we were talking about that earlier today with this. Mm -hmm. Like you have all these yoga people who are vegan, are you Vedic, you know, totally holistic. And then all of a sudden they're like this with this one, one that's big popular now we'll say, and it's right. like, what is right. happening? All your credibility just went down the toilet. I don't want to hear. I don't want to go to an Ayurvedic workshop from you because your word means nothing now because you went and forced people to get this. Yeah. So I don't. Totally so you, hear what you're you obviously don't believe what you're teaching. If you believe medicine, if food can be thy medicine, and you can, if you, you obviously don't you're believe saying. that. Yeah. So why am I going to take go take a course from you if you? I actually believe what I teach. I live by the dosha system. Right. I haven't had one of these since high school. Like, you know, like, so, yeah. so yeah. So keep standing up for what's right guys, even when it's hard. Cause you never know when justice is being served. And this month I will say as of like this week, there's a lot that's been happening in my personal life. Sarah knows some of what's going on that right now I'm going, okay, justice is about to be served. I got notified of some stuff that was like, here it comes. Justice is about to be serve sometimes the wheels of justice work slowly but it always karma always plays itself out so just keep going guys always. because it's not okay it's not the end exactly exactly and case in point i saw a couple faces like when i when i say matter of perception and matter it's matter of perspective or perception glass half full versus glass half empty it's because i'm seeing a face that's not a happy face yeah in my own case in tv reading i'm like that's i'm saying the same message i'm just putting the positive spin on it don't give up just look at the other happy faces that are literally right beside you look at all the wonderful things in the tv thing that are right right around this face that's going mm. well there's a lot of other things that you can focus on rather than that one thing that's upsetting you or or whatever the case is just it's not about like i don't think it's either about whitewashing things or censoring things or thinking oh no it's fine it's sweeping things under the rug no 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 acknowledge what's going on i'm not saying turn a blind eye i'm just saying also have the full awareness that yes that's happening but also there's really great and wonderful things that were happening over here and focus on that and keep going don't get bogged down by that one text that one thing that one email that one thing and just stay true to yourself if it feels right to you my mom says mom heather says trust your gut yeah. if your tummy's talking to you don't do it if your tummy's talking to you in a certain way then do it mom heather yeah. famous mom heather <laughs> <laughs> she's awesome she's awesome Mom, all right you guys well let us know down in the comment section below and share with us if you feel like sharing any stories of where you were going through a hard time and it paid off just to help our fellow humans gather some strength for those that are going through hard times right now just keep going stand up for what's right that's what bra bravery is not bravery is like being afraid and doing it anyway that's what being brave is if you're not afraid and you do something then you're not being brave right it's not i, I yeah. 
I have a tapestry that I got actually got at the Yoga International show several years, many years ago, and in Toronto. And it's um, it says courage, not the absence of fear or despair, but the courage to come overcome them for the bravery, bravery to overcome them. So feel the feel the fear, and obviously, you know, this that's a whole other topic too. But sometimes, sometimes fear is divine guidance to not do something, but sometimes fear is simply just a gut reaction that you're having. So just feel the fear into it anyway. That's what brave like it. I I don't. I'm not afraid to be on YouTube. Like this isn't brave for me. To, Sarah and I are used to filming now, so this is just a day in the life. But like doing something that's hard and doing it anyway because you know it's right. You're gonna still feel that fear. Mm -hmm. You're gonna still feel that trepidation, and you your knees 100%. might start shaking. Just keep, 100 percent. Just keep, keep going. going. It's gonna pay off. You never know. It's gonna pay off, and you never know what's around the corner. Except we kind of do. So just you never know so who's start. watching that you're inspiring exactly you're inspiring somebody and you're not even aware so you keep going guys i just yeah. that is awesome sarah again you guys make sure you check out her channel if you're not subscribed oh, get subscribed to the bell for notifications and check out our website so you too can get your own private tea leaf reading mm -hmm. we will be um we'll be back soon guys 100%. Bye.